started by taking about two yards, give or take, depending on how large you are. I'm five feet tall, so I'm not that tall. And I cut it in half. Next, I took this fabric glue and I hemmed the bottom. At first, it may seem like it doesn't want to stick, but you just keep forcing it and it will. So you just keep pressing and as the glue dries, it dries into place. You want to leave this on overnight to make sure that it dries all the way. Next you want to take some elastic and just measure your waist and I wanted it to fall low on my waist, on my hips. Okay this is the trick used part. What I'm doing is folding it twice so that there's no frayed ends. I'm sticking the elastic in there, folding it, and then I'm going to safety pin it into place so that I can pleat it when I sew. So what I do is I make the first stitch. I already did that. Now I'm pleating it and then sticking the needle in and doing it again and doubling it so that it doesn't move. Then you want to pleat it again and do the same thing. You have to pleat it or else the material won't stretch and then it will be messed up. So you have to pleat it and then secure it and then pleat it and then secure it. So I continued down and until I got to the safety pin. Now this is the easiest way for me to do it. I put the safety pin down there so that the material, I could work with the material. So once you get to the safety pin, just undo it and then hem it again and then redo the safety pin and start over again. Okay, so here's the first half of the skirt, the first yard, and now I'm going to add in the other yard. So you just want to do the same exact thing, adding in the second piece. One's the front and one's the back, but make sure that you get the exact same hemmed piece or else you're going to have to do it all over again. Attach the next piece the same exact way that you've been doing and make sure you remember to pleat it and then sew it into place, pleat it and then do it over again. It's going to take you a while. After you're done you just want to secure the two sides together and what you're going to have left is it looks like a big moo moo, <laughs> but we're not done. I'll show you what to do next. Safety pin where you want your crotch to be, and then we're going to sew it. Now you're just going to cut up, and you're going to leave an inch away from where you safety pinned it. Now safety pin it once again to make sure it's in the right place. Then you want to open it up and from the inside you want to sew it in place. Now using the same glue, you just want to hem all the frayed edges just so it has a more polished look. Make sure that you don't do the wrong sides. Here's where the creative part comes in. You can just design it any way you like. Here I got these little plastic um, embellishments and I'm just going to make a simple design. You can choose to do whatever you like. The easiest way I found instead of sewing it on is to use this sticky velcro and there's a sticky tape on both sides and so you just stick it on one end and then stick it to the material and it's really the fastest easiest way. If you don't have a bathing suit top that goes like this that you can embellish really quickly I'll show you what to do instead. To make something like this, all you have to do is get some glue and make your outline of whatever you want it to be. I chose a butterfly. Now I believe the liquid Elmer's glue would work better than this glue stick, but I was working with what I have. 
afterwards, you're just going to want to sprinkle some gold or green or any color that you choose, glitter, and just make your own design with that. You can even use eyeliner or pencils. It's up to you. And what would this costume be without some bells? So I just strung some bells onto this chain that I got, tied it in a knot so it wouldn't move, and then sewed it around the waist area of my pants. And this was actually the final step, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope it helped you in some way. See you guys later. Bye.